friends, welcome to another episode of Soldiers of Self Mastery podcast here. We have Cephas Tope of HighAchievers.me and Santos Rolon Jr. of SoldiersOfSelfMastery.com. We're here back in the studio. Uh, looking forward to another delightful session of sharing and empowering you on the other side. So make sure that you subscribe and follow us here at Soldiers of Self Mastery Podcast and share. Also, we're looking forward to greater things and uh, more teachings and more sharing to help you and those around the world. Let's get started on this session. Let's go forward for you. Pondering this because this is this is all new, and we want to make sure that we help uh, as many listeners as possible around the world. Our goal is to yeah. empower people. That's our goal: empower sure. people and, and help people understand that we don't have to live. Uh, we can live a better life. We can live a a more productive life uh, day by day. Mm-hmm. So I, mm-hmm. I, I'm just curious. Uh, you know, this is our. Uh, is it our debut? I don't know if we want to call it our debut, but we are talking about self mastery. Why self? Why start out talking about self mastery, by Cephas? Why? Uh, self mastery is the ability to take control of one's life without being blown off course by feelings, or or circumstance. Okay. So, in a nutshell, what I'm really saying is that self mastery is that condition whereby your body is your servant and not your master. Self mastery is when you come to this stage whereby you really you're really in charge, and you can look at yourself, and you can look at your life, and you can look at your environment, and and say it and say, yeah, I'm really in charge. Okay, I I make the rules regardless of whatever anybody say, regardless of whatever anybody is thinking about. I am in charge, and the decisions I make will make me or break me. Yeah. So that is exactly what was on my mind, the ability to take control of one's own uh, body without being blown off course by feelings, urges, or, or circumstances. I kind of read that. Um, I read some of that also. It's interesting. Self-mastery yeah. is that condition which your body is your servant and yeah. not your master. And not your master. And, and that really matters. So what does it mean that the body... Your body is your servant and not your master. I believe that each one of us have this experience in life where we really have urges. Like you said, when you're talking to uh, most most of your gambling clients, you talk about temptation. And you talk about this in your book also, triggers and temptation. And uh, when, when you face temptation and uh, you allow your body to react instead of you to think, you know, uh, Napoleon Hill talk about, one of the most greatest desire is the desire for sex. Then he goes like, if you can transmute that desire into something more productive, you'll become a genius. You know what I'm saying? So then self-mastery will help you transmute every negative desire to do something positive, something more productive that can turn your life around. Sounds good. So uh, I'm getting back to self-mastery. Do you have to let me ask you this um, and and we're going to we're going to go back and forth a little bit here on this topic, because personally, this is a very big this is a very broad topic. It's it it has a lot of um, it it can have a lot of doors uh, that you Mm -hmm. open up to to work on yourself. And and of course, it has to be, you know, self mastery has to be personal. It has to be very personal to the individual because a lot of people, right. a mm-hmm. lot of people are living today, and you know we're all doing things. We're all, uh, you know, we're behaving. We're we react. We are either reacting or or we are yeah. responding to certain life situations. Mm-hmm. Do you have to be? I mean, what kind of an individual would be interested in self mastery? For me, I think it's go generally, no, no matter where you are, no matter where you live, uh, as far as you're part of the human race, self-mastery should be one of the basic foundation. It is uh, coming to this realization of who you are 
and you know what you live for it is your identity so you've got to have that you've got to know yourself like you know like uh aristotle said he said quality is not an act it is a habit self-mastery has to become a habit whereby you actually think before you act yeah so i think it's generally for everybody what what do you think about that chief yeah it it self-mastery you know when you think about the word uh self-mastery when you think about that it can be a little bit intimidating to some people because mm -hmm. uh, you know most people sadly most people i know i didn't grow up uh being taught self-mastery you know characteristics of self-mastery disciplines of self-mastery yeah um so i didn't i didn't understand any of this i didn't have it growing up so this has become a new thing for me and you know, I truly enjoy the challenge, even though at times you have to really think about it because, you know, again, what what is self-mastery for, for you? What is self-mastery for me? It's an individual. It's a personal thing. Yeah. We can talk yeah. about, you know, for instance, you know, why is self-mastery so important today? Uh, I know personally I need to work on my self-mastery every single day. And, of course, I, I do it. I'm going to do it a little bit different differently than you do it, but ultimately yep. it is it is to take control over one's own body because the body the body almost runs by itself for most people. In fact, I was I was uh, I was paying attention to a murder trial recently that took place in Texas. Uh, an American police officer, female, shot mm -hmm. uh, uh, a young well, black man. Uh, within in his own apartment. Now she mistakenly uh, walked into, according to what was being said, she mistakenly walked into an apartment. Uh -huh. And eventually, what ended up happening was she ended up shooting the the owner of that apartment, which happened to be a young black man, in his uh, own apartment. So uh, the big thing that I was thinking about, and and some of the circumstantial, some of the evidence was showing that here's a woman now we don't know uh, we don't know everything behind of what you know of what happened yeah, but sure. my point sure. is is that she was acting on instinct she did things almost because she was saying that she wasn't really aware of what was going on in her mind it's oh, it's almost like her body just took over and did what the body felt needed to do what it felt yep. it needed to do so of course that's maybe that's a a little bit of a different subject but my point in that is that you can we need to be in control we need to work on being in control self-control of the body that's absolutely right because you see uh yeah let's say let, let's be real let's be realistic uh the body our body is such you know a great uh being or uh, that when it comes up with a desire unless you, you know unless you know yourself unless you've mastered and you've built control over the body it it really can overpower the thought the mind and, and it's it, it really can get the, the the whole mind you know into action instantly it's about what you've built over the years and and self mastery is, is about really gaining control over the flesh it's really coming to this uh you know this this center of your mind really looking at everything that is happening being the awareness uh you don't run on autopilot the body wants everything to happen by accident but then we can't live life on autopilot we can't do the things automatically we've got to sit down and think we've got to think we've got to think about that uh in in proverb he said a righteous man see evil and shun it okay so so i think that's it it, that's it. The flesh desire is really, really so high, but then self mastery is going to help you build more control over this desire so that you can focus the desire on something more productive. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. That's a good point. In fact, you brought up, you know, that the Bible says the flesh, the flesh war, wars or lusts against the spirit and the spirit yeah. against yeah. the yeah. flesh. Mm -hmm. Now, now, one of the reasons why I believe self-mastery is so important today, here's something, you brought up a point, but let me add to that point that Go we on. operate, we all have self-mastery uh, yeah. to a certain degree. We yeah. all have it. 
But mm-hmm. what we're talking about here is actually taking that and actually uh, controlling it. In other words, yeah. you hey, you controlling you that self mastery because we we already have habits. We've been we've been living. Yeah. I've been around for almost fifty three years. Cephas, how how young are you? Yeah, I've been around for like uh, twenty six years now. <laughs> so we all have habits. We have a form of self mastery, but some of that may not be healthy. Some of that yeah. self mastery that we have. So the self mastery that we're talking about is actually taking control, gaining yeah. control because the body already wants to do certain things on its own. And mm-hmm. it's interesting, you know that psychologists, psychologists yeah. call they call self mastery self regulation. Wow. And they also call it self control. So self mastery is a form of self regulation. You're regulating your body. Mm-hmm. Or self control, mm-hmm. you know, getting yourself to consistently move toward your goals, not yep. just drifting yep. through life, uh, achieving goals that maybe others are setting for us or outside of our control. Yeah, exactly. in other words, getting, getting yourself consistently to move toward your goals, no matter how hard it gets. And I usually say, I, I like to say this all the time. I'm going to make my day super fantastic, terrific, and over the top. Over the top. Spite of, <laughs> and because yeah. of. And, you know, the, yeah. the truth is, in order for us to get ourselves to move consistently toward our goals, um, it has to be in spite of and because of the things that yeah. are happening around us. I think we've gone on this a little bit, and I totally do agree with you, uh, like, because you mentioned, you said to, to some extent, we all have a self mastery in us. And it's really all about building on what we have. It's really about, you know, it's like you've got a foundation. If you don't do anything uh, on, on the foundation you've got, it remain the way it is. And, uh, you know, if not, if, if, if care not taken, it can even diminish. But if, if you build on it, you build, you keep building on what you have, then it will grow into something more beautiful, something more effective. So uh, like you said, we've, we've all got a bit of this self-mastery in us. And all we have to do is build on this. And, uh, you know, it's it by becoming aware of our daily habits, you know, thinking about how our habit influence us and start and also start thinking about how we can influence our habits what, what are our habits how do they define us what are the things we do every day and how does these things uh help us uh, make progress toward achieving our goals yeah exactly um stopping to think right you yeah. said now, let me ask you a question. I know that time is going by very quickly, and we can't cover everything on this episode. Uh, sure. Of course, we're, we're trying. Let mm-hmm. me ask you, what's one way, when you wrote your book, uh, The Roadmap, yeah. The yeah. Roadmap, when you wrote, uh, I don't have the title of the book in front of me, The Roadmap, the roadmap to an Extraordinary, extraordinary life. life. Yep. Right. What was one thing, one self, one form of self-mastery that you used to write that book did you use self-mastery to write that book was that something that was a part of that activity yeah yeah it was really because uh uh ellie uh, you know i have a dream of writing a book long time ago i just couldn't see how that would happen and you know each day i go on living lives and uh you know and and just live uh every day and uh, have things that get me distracted and stuff and, and and i keep saying i'm gonna write a book but it's never happened until uh it got to this uh point where i actually make a decision then i go on to set a deadline and and i keep affirming to myself every day that okay i'm really just gonna get this done i, I set a reward for myself and i and i keep focusing on the reward and and i said i won't let anything stop me or you know or, or or get in my way from completing this book project okay Interfere. so w- yeah. with w- without self mastery that couldn't happen without me coming to this realization whereby i know that i need to get my body into work okay it's nothing happened i just keep procrastinating i keep wishing instead of willing you know what i'm saying so that- yes yes in fact i i believe that I believe personally, and and I'll share a little bit, um, uh, uh, a form of self-mastery that I used um, 
this is, I believe this is the most important skill for living your best life, especially yeah. today in 2019 right. because of, I mean, there, uh, you know, there is, there is so much happening outside of our homes, uh, at the job site, you know, with, with other families and friends, we live in a very, very incredible world. And, uh, I, I believe that more people need to hear about self mastery. We need to really emphasize, talk a little bit more about it. You know, how, how we actually, uh, put, put this, uh, to work in our lives. I know for me, when, when I came to the realization Okay, you said mm -hmm. think. You said that before you you uh, wrote your book, you stopped to think, right? How many yeah. people today stop to really think? To take 10, 15, 20 minutes throughout the day to really think. This is a form mm -hmm. of self control, self mastery. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me, it was one of my first, one of the first hearted addictions uh, to break, which was problem gambling. If it mm -hmm. wasn't for self mastery, if it wasn't for me taking control, yeah. Uh, of my of my speech and of my thoughts and these are just two aspects of self-control speech and thought mm -hmm. i don't believe i would have gotten myself free from problem gambling if it wasn't for self-mastery of course yeah. uh, that by it. the grace of by the grace of the almighty which which enables us to do what we do on a daily basis i have to okay. say you yep. thanks yep. be unto You're god right. i but, totally agree with that mm -hmm. so you know, these are just uh, uh, just little examples, um, and and there's many that we can talk about. Many examples of how you use uh, self mastery. You know, yeah. uh, a, a, a yeah. pregnant lady, a pregnant woman, uh, yeah. a, a, and a man that just recently gets married, married uh, somebody that uh, somebody that wants to build a business. Mm -hmm. And and you know, uh, you said how we want to use self mastery. So in a real in in another way, we could we could go like how we use our mind because you see everything we've been talking about comes down to the mind. It's because that's where everything happens. Do you agree with that, Chief? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's and, and you know someone once said the energy of the mind is the essence of life, and that's you, you've got to think about it. Thoughts become things. Okay, thoughts become things. Everything I think and and hold on to eventually become things. And if not, if if I don't deal with them carefully, I start manifesting those those things. You know, have you ever sat down where you you kind of pondering on a on a particular uh, situation that just happened, and uh, then you decided your mind decided to create, uh, you know, the version of what might have happened or what could have happened and then you, you know this thought immediately influenced you and you act towards the situation based on what you receive from your mind and not the actual fact uh, do, do you understand what i'm saying so sometimes if if yeah, we don't yeah. learn to pay attention to our mind to actually think is this uh the fact is it the truth of the situation then we might end up believing everything our mind comes up with, which sometimes can trigger us to behave negatively. So the energy of the mind is the essence of life. You know, the whole body is connected to the mind and how we guide. And that's why the Bible is a guide your mind for out of it, proceed the issues of life. You've got to guide it. And, and I think the, the job and the self mastery we're talking about it it's helping you to guide your mind because out of it proceed the all the issues of life yeah. exactly exactly and and another thing another thing that i want to share is it's uh, you know since we're talking about this subject we're going to be doing a lot more obviously when it when it where it comes to self mastery self empowerment uh, mm -hmm. therefore you know soldiers of self mastery it's a good title yeah refer to yourself as you know you don't have to go around telling people hey i'm a soldier but you can tell yourself i'm a soldier of self-mastery it's yeah, amazing what yeah. begins to happen when you start thinking that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. and by coming to this podcast by coming to this podcast subscribing and following us uh maybe you have some questions that you want to shoot at us or who knows maybe you have a a thought uh that you would definitely want us to talk about on an episode here by you coming here is going to actually reinforce and help you gain Self mastery, or at least to get more, uh, more inf not so much information, but to become more aware, more conscious aware of how you can use this this terminology, this this uh, uh, this gift 
of self. So yeah. it's 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 really, I mean, it's broad. Mm-hmm. Uh, it really, it, you know, again, it, you really need to dig dig deep and and uh, and and think about these things that we're talking about. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, internalize Definitely. them, like you said. You have you have mm-hmm. to internalize. Where are you at in life? You know, where are you at? Where uh, what's going on in your life? You know, how could this impact you? How could this help you uh, mm-hmm. get through those barriers in your life? And again, that's what we're all about here. You know, we want to empower yeah. people as we are empowering ourselves. Uh, we're not perfection. We're not. We are not. You know, we're not perfect in, by any means. We have our own challenges and. But we understand these topics a lot better. At least I understand this topic a lot better than I used to, because yeah. in my home, the word self mastery was not, was not never even mentioned when I was growing yeah. up. When you said uh, the the word was never mentioned, and and I know how that can be, and you know coming to this to the time, and and I think the reason why uh, we all have this uh, unique opportunity to learn new things, like the the nature has done his best to place everyone at, at the place uh, or given everyone the opportunity by which they can transform their life. People don't just take it. You know, people don't, people don't know enough to know. I think that's the problem. And, and uh, just like you said, like you mentioned, you, you just have to keep, you know, keep uh, developing yourself. Keep, keep, you were doing it uh, unconsciously. Without, you, were, you were actually practicing self-mastery without even knowing it. And now you know yeah. it comes, yeah, it come, it come out open to you uh, through the light, and while well, you grasp it, okay. And that's the that's the goal that you that everybody, you, you know, you the listener especially that you get the message. Look into your life and ask yourself: Am I really the one in charge? Am I am I in charge of my life now, or people are been making decisions for me? You can you can allow people uh, to drive your like like you said, uh, you know, sometimes like you don't get convenient when someone else is driving you in your own car. So yeah. you've got to be in the driver's seat. Yeah. So. Yeah, and you got to start today. Mm-hmm. Today's today's the day where you make the decision and say, you know what, I'm going to begin working on self mastery today. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, we, we continually encourage that you come back, listen to the episodes, support this mission, uh, support yeah. the mission that we're on. Cephas and, and I, uh, we are on a mission to help people, to empower people, and to share the knowledge that, that's been given to us, uh, these, these yeah. wonderful graces, uh, uh, these gifts that have been given to us. And we just continue to explore, we continue to share, and we're going to grow. We're going to grow forward. Like I say, grow okay. through the journey of life. Not Don't go through it, but grow through it. Yeah, don't, don't go through it. Grow. Oh, I love that. That's powerful. That's powerful because hope is a waking dream. Uh, you, you've got to, 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 in order to keep your hope alive, you've got to grow through it. Okay, because uh, when when you keep hoping and you're not growing, your everything fade, everything fade, you know, and uh, then then it's it looks like you're not really gonna achieve anything. But once you keep your hope high, then you've got to keep growing. So you keep heading towards the hope. You said, you know, I'm gonna get here one day. You're hoping, you have faith, but then you keep growing. You keep doing the work. The world now reward people who who do the work. You know, even most effectively, people who do more than what they were paid for. So that's it. Yeah, there's so much. There's just so much that could be said here. Uh, are we yeah. coming down to the end of the episode here, Cephas? We. Mm, yeah, and uh, there's gonna be more. Uh, of course, we're gonna release more episode every week, and so that's pretty awesome. I'm I'm excited already. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited too. We're just little guys here. We're just two little guys. Uh, maybe not short in stature. I I might be short, but we're two <laughs> little guys starting out here. We have a hunger. We have a desire to really impact the world around us and make a difference. That's yeah. what we're here. We're here to make a difference. And you know, again, this topic of self mastery is big. Don't let it intimidate you. You know, keep coming back. Uh, mm-hmm. Self mastery is going to keep you in tune. Repetition. It's keep you in yeah. tune. Yeah. It's going to help you stay focused because yeah. it's easy to get distracted. And uh, sometimes we we make it uh, a bad decision. We go off the road a little bit. But we're going to help. We are going to work together as a, as, a, as a unit to get to stay on the path in tune to be able to achieve the things, even if they're just little things in life that we want to achieve. Yeah. Uh, big things or little things. Um, so, 
Uh, we, we, we've come to the end of the podcast. Uh, Cephas, if you want to share something else before I close, or do you want to close the podcast today? Uh, no, no, you're going to be the one to pl- pl- uh, close the uh, p- podcast today. The closing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and one thing, uh, one thing I, I just want to tell the people uh, before closing the uh, before you do the closing is that you know change in all things is sweet, okay? Because then when we talk about self mastery, it's often that you have to go come to this realization and knows that you need to change some things. Don't be scared to approach change. Change in all things is sweet. Okay, so you've got to be willing to change to allow yourself to change and go through life. You don't want to go through life, like Santos said, you want to go through the life. That's all for me. Exactly. All right, my friends, uh, followers, and listeners from around the world, I hope that you've enjoyed this session with Cephas Tope of highachievers.me and uh, Santos Rolon Jr. of soldiers of self mastery.com. We're here to service. We're here to serve, we're here to help. You have a question, you have a topic, you have something, an observation that you want to share with us, feel free to reach out to us at those websites. Once again, highachievers.me, or you can also go to soldiersofselfmastery.com. Make sure to follow us on the next episode um, and subscribe to the Soldiers of Self Mastery podcast.